Watch the stealth! Ladies and gentlemen of Warship Sydney, today is a very unique day. Uh, it's not every day that we commission a ship, albeit we've got a few coming over the next few years. But uh, as the Fleet Commander has pointed out, uh, this is the first time that we've commissioned one of Her Majesty's Australian ships at sea. And I reckon that's pretty cool. And you should be very, very proud uh, of yourselves, of your shipmates, uh, and the team, which is now Warship Sydney. It's a significant day for our Navy, it's a significant day for our nation, and the messages that we've had uh, today uh, of support will underpin the absolute faith and trust the leaders of our nation have in each and every one of you. And that's why it was important for me that despite being in these very challenging times, that we got on with it and we commissioned this ship. And being able to do that today is a great honour and a tribute to you all. And Sydney sailors throughout our Navy's history have been renowned to be able to bring things together to operate as an effective fighting team. And I have no doubt that HMAS Sydney 5 will be the shining jewel in our Navy's crown for many years to come. You will all form part of the HMAS Sydney fabric. You are all sailors and officers who will continue the proud Sydney legacy. From Sydney's battle with Emden, Sydney 2's World War II battle honours, Sydney 3's status as our first aircraft carrier, and of course Sydney 4 and her significant involvement in the Middle East during operations throughout the early 1990s. Your Sydney and your history are a very proud and legendary pedigree. And you are as, part, as much a part of our Navy as the Navy is itself. I congratulate you and all and extend my gratitude to all, all of you who have made this very special day possible. We recognise with humility we are a small part of a bigger team, a class of three destroyers in a fleet of highly capable platforms and a wider navy ready to serve Australia. It's a thinking navy, a fighting navy, an Australian navy. Our small contribution to the wider team is to make Sydney ready for operations so that by 2022 we can be deployed on sustained combat operations as part of a joint force.